The force of air resistance happens when an object is moving through air, the air applies a force in the opposite direction. For example, when you stick your hand out the window of a moving car, you can feel the force of air pushing against it. An object experiences more air resistance if it is moving faster or if it has more surface area. A falling object reaches terminal velocity, or its maximum velocity, when the force of air resistance up equals the force of gravity down. So as you can see, as this object is falling through the air due to the force of gravity, it's getting faster and faster and faster, and as a result, its velocity is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And while its velocity gets bigger, the force of air resistance in the other direction gets bigger because the faster you move through the air, the more air pushes back on you. So here, air is pushing back up on the object until it perfectly balances out the force of gravity, and at that moment, the object stops accelerating and it hits terminal velocity. So we call terminal velocity the point where the air resistance balances out the force of gravity to stop the object from accelerating. It's still moving, but that's its maximum velocity it can reach. Parachutes employ air resistance to slow the object down and prevent them from having a very high terminal velocity.